evening. Uh, again, I'd like to thank Jeff and the Project News for, for sponsoring and, and putting these uh, all candidate meetings uh, um, together. Um, it's great to see everybody out. Um, for those that don't know who I am, I am my name is Jamie Riddell. I'm a lifelong resident of Charter Lake, or of Central Project. I grew up in Charter Lake. And uh, yeah, there's that Charter Lake where you <laughs> grew up in Charter Lake, um, married and settled here in, in, in Mountain Grove um, with my wife Rini and our three children. Uh, I currently work uh, outside of the area. I work at Mill Lake Institution as a correctional officer. Um, I spent uh, 27 years with the local fire service, um, seven years as fire chief here in, here in Mountain Grove, and brought the department through amalgamation. And that's where I kind of started to get my keen interest in municipal politics. <coughs> um, I've also served uh, on, the, on the school board, the uh, Atlanta Lakes, and uh, along with uh, Annette Gray Jackson, we served on the park committee um, and fought to keep Atlanta Lakes open. And it was with Annette's help and, and the community's help that we were able to do that. I have a few priorities that, uh, if elected, I'd like to see through um, as, a, as a group as a township and also locally. Um, as a group, I think we need to bring accountability back in our township, um, and it has to start at the council level. The council has to be held accountable for what we do and how we, and how we um, send that information out to our management team to see it implemented. Um, a good example of that is, is in planning. We need to come up with, with um, aggressive uh, strategic planning whether it's a five-year plan, 10-year, 15, we need to make sure that it's aggressive and it, it addresses the, the area needs. Roads is a prime example. We need plans in place where we're, our road crews are out, brushing the roads, ditching the roads, grading the roads on a regular cycle so they're not in the state that they're in. Um, just to talk a little bit about the roads department, um, from my perspective, I don't think um, we can point fingers at the roads crews themselves. <coughs> I think we have to point the fingers at somewhat at council ourselves for not being able to hold people um, in the position um, as roads manager um, for long periods of time. We need to carefully look at not only who we select, but the reasons why these, these people are not staying in our area. Uh, my belief too is looking at the candidates, just because they have a civil engineering degree doesn't mean that they're, best, they're not best fit. Um, that's what we, we need to look for somebody that's willing to take on the role. Yes, we're not going to be able to pay you know, the enormous wage, wages you know, that some of these people are looking for, but we need somebody that's going to be able to give direction to our roads crews and work with our roads crews and work with council to get the job done. Um, I'd like to see our economic development policies um, pushed forward. Um, I think a township as a whole, we need to be more aggressive with our, with our economic development uh, policies um, because we need, we need to attract more business, we need to attract more events to our area to bring the money in because the money is, is where the bread and butter is for our businesses and that's where we have to support our businesses. I'd like to see a part of the, the planning, um, for instance, with the new ball field of Mountain Grove. Um, it's not that I'm against the, the, the building of the new, the new fire hall, be, or the, the new ball field, because the, the rec committee and, and Corey was a part of it, did their part of it. They did their planning, they did their research, they did their building, and presented to council, and it's been over six years since that plan was, was given, and here we are today trying to push it through to get it finished. And we're out of state with our roads, and you know we see our deteriorated roads, the mill road. You know, who wants to go to a new ball field that you can't even drive on the middle road for? So, um, you know, we need to look at, you know, could some of that money be used, you know, for the hockey rink, upgrading the hockey rink so that the rink could be used year round. Um, it's just we have to be, we have to be more accountable that way. And locally, I think we need to really look at it. I gotta see Jeff. I'm just ignoring him. <laughs> That's just a technicality. <laughs> um, yeah, locally, I, I, I'd really like to see us look at uh, drainage, uh, the drainage problem here in the village so that the water's flowing properly through the village. Um, you know, it comes to the beginning of the summer, through the summer months, 
and that stagnant water sitting there and it stinks and you know you hear about it from the residents and then in the springtime some of our residents are getting plugged out so you know we need to look at that locally um, i recognize you know what i'm only one person i'm only one vote on council but um, i'm the type of person that uh, um, i'll speak my mind I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, de I'll debate the issues and i'll represent your interests um, at, at best of my heart so um, thank you Thank you.